Hi everyone, I'm back with another video and today's gonna be uh, Protheus Recommends. So if you don't know what Protheus Recommends, it's basically where I share uh, how I do things, uh, the pros and cons as to why I do it that way, and of course it is subjective. It is how I personally do things, doesn't necessarily mean that it's the only way of doing things and just because you're not doing it that way, you're wrong, it's open-ended, meaning you can suggest if you think this is better and whatnot, and of course we will learn from each other. So that's the goal. So our in today's episode, uh, we will do progression order. What do I mean by that? Uh, it's not about your account. It's more of on a certain hero, specifically uh, a single hero. Let's use you as an example here, just because it is the hero that everyone gets right from the start and I think it's a very good example anyway since she also does do many things so can help you out now progression order uh, I will just say it right now is transcend first and then work on your skills Next is runes and finally special upgrading. You might ask, where is growth chamber? Where is awakening and extreme awakening? Uh, apparently, you can do these uh, things parallel parallel to the one the ones that I've mentioned beforehand. So, growth you can do it while transcending, while having uh, changing your skills, runes and spec ups. Though awakening and EA, of course, um, you 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 should do that before uh, changing skills because um, you really can change skills if you're not awakened so if that makes sense now this is a very controversial topic as to why i recommend uh, transcending versus uh, skill rerolling first uh, so i will just share to you the pros and cons on going for trends and then uh, the other way around, I will show you the pros and cons of skills. So here we go. If you transcend first, that is 100% certain. There's no chance there, it is 100%. So that is cool. Uh, to show you, I have an Aaron here. Oh, it is an Awakened actually. So transcend, it is 100%. There is no chance of you failing, so that is it. You can also proceed in scenario and whatnot just by transcending and uh, doing your skills, uh, doing your uh, usual stuff. Remember, the max transcend level is 50. 30 is the uh, lowest, uh, the minimum max level when you get your hero. So that is almost double, 30 versus 50. There is a lot of stats that you will get from it, so you can still proceed to many things with just that. On the downside though, Transcend, if there's no Lin and um, Min DC, you'll have to spend 2000 rupees if you don't get them, uh, the Lins, uh, during sale or from the events. You will have to spend that much rupees in order to reach level 50 which i think most of us are having that problem when we just start out so next up uh, the pros and cons of uh, skills now if you reroll for skill first when you get your uh final skill that you will use in game it's over it just cost 50 rubies now if you take advantage of the uh, buff the sale buff then you can even save more rupees and i'm gonna tell you now uh better skills in my opinion is better than having max transcend but you know it's hard uh, seeing that you almost double your stat when you max transcend versus skills but Really, skills help you a lot, especially with Oath leads. It will get you so far more than the rest. And yeah, it's that good. Now, I'll leave it up to you whether you go for trans versus skills. But really, the 
worst thing the cons of skills is if you don't get the skill that you want you might have to spend 2,000, 3,000, 10,000 rupees in order to get the skill that you want and that won't make you proceed and like transcending it will get you guaranteed far okay and some people do quit but if they don't get the skills that they want, and that is bad. So I don't want you to quit. I want you to learn the game first. That's why I'm doing this. I'm saying this this way. So you can explore the game. You will learn stuff. And if you don't get the skills later on, that is fine. At least you have uh, been able to go far. Okay? Next. About transcending... I will skip that itself. Uh, you know how to transcend. Just use lens, buy them in shop only. Don't buy the lens in BR or anywhere else. That takes a lot of gems. Trust me, don't. Now for skills. Now if you reroll your skills, of course, when are you gonna stop? End game skills or something else? What are the ways of re-rolling? Well, there are many and again, there's no right or wrong here. Uh, personally, I re-roll until I get good skills. For example, okay. What do I mean by that? Hmm. Well, I couldn't say this is an example, but I want this OCD. I spent 2.6k rubies on her... Uh, fallen ground to be changed to uh, OCD but haven't been able to get it so but you know I did that when I transcended already to 50 so I did stop at 2.6 rupees and I moved on to others so I think it's a good habit to limit yourself in re-rolling for now I'm re-rolling every 500 rupees but I will stop for now uh, I will focus my rubies on other stuff because 2.6k, I lost many because of that, so I will stop. Uh, she has a good skill anyway, so I think I shouldn't push myself too much and do limit myself uh, in order for me not to be uh, dried out of resources. That's what I'm trying to say. So... When you're starting an account, I recommend just get the good skills, decent skills that will make you move on. And then when you're stuck and you have max everything else, you can do re-rollings. Or sometimes re-roll once a day. Or sometimes just re-roll once a week. And those stuff. There are many ways. Again, there's no right or wrong. Just re-roll whenever you feel like to. But to me, I recommend 500 at the time until you get what you need okay now runes what do I mean by runes you should take advantage of the sale monthly uh, evolving runes or if you're not evolving changing properties those are very good and will really make a difference between others with good skills compared to you um, and trust me runes that's why I'm saying it runes will give you more reward than special upgrade Okay, trust me, if special upgrade do really uh, make much difference, then why are people with no spec ops can defeat those with plus 12? Yes, stats do matter, but it's not everything. Runes provide many things outside of stats alone. Though they provide stats, it's just one of the things that they provide. I have a separate video about runes, I recommend you check that out, you will learn a lot from it I, as to why, why I'm saying this, but runes really make much difference. And as a matter of fact, I have awakened runes, I evolved most of them, this one, this one, see, I retained it, though I can evolve her, I did not because it already has frostbite chance up which is what I want. Range, damage, down, plus attack up are very cool thing too. So there's no need for me to evolve that rune. 
but I did evolve the other two. Um, also, I have Fleta, so I evolved this because it has sucky skills, uh, properties. Well, actually both are good, but it's just two star. It is hardly worth at two stars, so I'll evolve that to four star. If I get the properties I want from here at four star, if I evolve it, I will stop. I will continue to evolve it. If I don't, then I will change that property afterwards. So that's it. Last but not least, a special upgrading. Okay, I don't have mains to show you, but hmm, interesting. I can show you a Mistra perhaps. Oh, where is my Mistra? I actually, I think Orga is better. Okay. I'll just use Orga. Where is my Orga? Orga by, I mean, duplicate heroes can now be used for special upgrading. Oh, use the same hero? I am. What? Ah, it asks you. It's a confirmation. Okay. This has 75% chance. And let me tell you the first one, it's already plus 8. So, signify that one here. It, even plus 7 to plus 8 has 90% chance. Some people do fail. I included. Some others even fail twice at 90%. So, if you fail, you'll get 5% chance up. And then, so on. So for, it will continue for that level. And if you successfully did your current level, all the buffs from failure this level won't uh, accumulate to the next one. Okay, let's try. I failed this week a lot, so I... Okay, it's successful. So that's it. That's the order. I hope you learn from this. Um, I wanna do a separate video about growth but it's too tricky of a video to make a weekend in an ea is just easy you can understand it by your own so yeah that is for the progression per hero of course this is not to say that you should focus on your hero alone you can spread it out and i recommend that if you want go ahead focus on a single hero but too much focus on a single hero won't really make difference as to spreading out but don't spread too much out to all of your heroes focus on your lead first and then focus on the second and the third and the fourth and the fifth like that okay hope you learned more videos to come and goodbye